Greetings from Diazonic Labs and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be learning about sklearn JSON library. Whenever you want to deploy any model, you need to first convert it or you need to first serialize that particular model. So normally we use pickle or joblib library. So joblib is again another library based on pickle itself. So here we serialize our model. But then there's a problem with pickle. Whenever you are serializing with a pickle file, it actually provides a simple attack vector for malicious users. So it can be easily hacked into. And uh, there is a link here, a very good blog written, uh, which actually speaks about the Python pickle security problems and uh, solutions. So you can just go through this. I'll put this particular link in the description below. This library, sklearn.json, is actually an alternative for that particular thing. So it is considered to be a safe and transparent solution for exporting scikit-learn model files. So whenever you create any model using scikit-learn library, you can easily uh, you know, serialize it with the help of this particular library, sklearn.json. And it says that it is 100% safe and it will be converted into JSON file. All right. So the version of this particular library is uh, the latest one which was released as uh, 0.1.0. It was released on November 2, 2019. All right, let us see how we can actually use this library. So for execution, I have considered one uh, common used uh, data set, years of experience and salary data set from Kaggle. It's given here. And uh, if you want to see how to download the data set of Kaggle using Kaggle API. I have already published one video on our channel. You can go through it. I will put the link again in the description below. Right now, I have just uploaded it in my uh, GitHub profile and I will be taking that particular link here. So I've opened my Google Colab here and uh, it is connected. And let me just run this thing to see whether our data set is all fine or not. And we can see here we have got this data set and this is a, a typical linear regression problem wherein we know that in our uh, if you want to solve linear regression problem we need two types of variables one is uh, independent variable and one more is dependent variable so basically we have got here two columns one is years uh, of experience and another is salary years of experience is the independent column and uh, salary is the dependent column so here i have run the code for taking the dependent and independent variables separately I have uh, put this in X and Y axis, uh, X and Y variables. And then I've created a linear regression model with the help of sklearn library. And I have used the method model.fit. And now it is uh, fitting the model. Once this thing is done, we can just uh, check out the coefficient values and intercept values. So when you run this command, you will get here two values. The first value what you get is uh, the coefficient value. And then the second value what you are getting is uh, intercept value. Okay, now what we will do is we will actually use, uh, say, this particular library, sklearn library to serialize the model. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will just copy this particular thing, pip install sklearn json and paste it here with a command exclamatory so that it can be considered as a command line argument. And now once it is downloaded, uh, it says requirement already satisfied and it has installed this particular package. Okay. Now, once this particular library is downloaded, what we can do is we can import the library. So I'll write here import. sklearn underscore JSON and I'll import as SK JSON. All right, the next thing what I'll do is I will just mention here the file name which I want. So I'll write here file name is equal to, I can just write one specific file name. I'll just write here, say abc.json, the file type saved will be in JSON. And then the next thing what I'll do is I will call for the two JSON method from sklearn.json. Okay. So I'll write here sk.json. Okay. And then I will write say dot two underscore JSON. All right. And then here I will put the model, which we have already defined before. And then I will put the file name here. And then let me just run this particular cell. So you should be able to see here on the left hand side where I have got the screen of uh, files. I have got here one specific file by the name of abc.json. And when I open this, I will get here the arguments, the most important arguments in linear regression. So it says that the coefficient value is so and so and then the intercept value is so and so. All right. So basically this is what is stored here. Uh, this is what is actually stored inside this abc.json. And we will try to, uh, you know, retrieve this particular file in another, uh, say, Google Colab notebook. 
and let us see whether we are able to get the same value of uh, coefficient as well as intercept or not all right so i will open here a new notebook and okay just wait for it to open and once it is open what i'll do now is i will connect this to the python backend and i will import now again i need to import sklearn right so sklearn underscore json as skl sorry sk json okay this is what i will import and after that uh, when i run this obviously i'll get an error because this particular library is not installed so i need to install it here right so in this particular environment also i'll do pip install sklearn underscore json okay let me run this and it will install all right now i have imported here the model whatever it is there first thing what i'll do is i will just download this particular file let me just click on download here and it will be downloaded here and then let me upload this particular file here back again so this is the recent file which i have got abc.json uh, i have uploaded it inside my second google collab notebook so this collab and this collab has no relation whatsoever i'm just uh, uploading it again here the serialized version is uploaded here now i'll just rename this to something nice so i'll just rename it as again abc i don't want this to i'll close this okay now uh, it's time for deserializing so i can write here say deserialized model okay is equal to uh, let me just correct the spelling here deserialized okay and then i will write here say sk json all right and then i will write here say from underscore json so there it was to json here it will be from underscore json all right and then i can write here say again abc dot json so i'm importing abc.json here let me just import it and once it is done you should be able to see that uh, it will give you the same coefficient i'll just copy this variable name and paste it here okay now if you want to see what exactly is the coefficient coef underscore so you'll get the coefficient value here the exact same value which we had got before and let me just copy this for intercept as well so intercept will get the exact same value okay uh, 25792 okay if you see here 25792 dot values so this is how we uh, use the serialization method and uh, how we can actually export the value and this can be further used for uh, you know uh, deployment into say web app or you can actually create an android app with the help of this android app or ios app so uh, I'm planning to create another video uh, wherein we can actually deploy this uh, model on MIT App Inventor wherein it is a complete graphs programming method. So there is no uh, as such writing kind of code involved. So it will be really helpful for beginners to understand the deployment. So I will try to make another video uh, related to MIT App Inventor, how we can deploy our linear regression model there. So if you have liked this particular video, please do consider subscribing our channel, like this video and I'll see you soon.